OK, time to start practicing some exam questions. First one. The diagram shows a radiant heater, which is used to heat a room. Explain why the casing of the heater is made of light, shiny metal. Because light, shiny surfaces reflect radiation into the room. A boy was standing in the street as an ambulance approached. Part A, as the ambulance reached the boy, the frequency of the siren was 17 kilohertz and the wavelength was 0.02 meters. What was the wave speed? Use the correct equation from the physics equation sheet and remember to show all your working. Give the answer in meters per second. As the ambulance passed the boy, he noticed that the pitch of the siren changed. What is the name given to this effect? And part C, as the ambulance moved away from the boy, both the frequency and the wavelength of the siren changed. In what way? So, we're after the wave speed. So start out with the correct equation. This is the wave equation. V equals F times lambda. So speed equals frequency times wavelength. Now for frequency, I've changed 17 kilohertz into 17,000 hertz because the wave equation uses frequency in hertz, not kilohertz. So you've always got to have your frequency in hertz and keep meters as meters. So 17,000 times 0.02 is 340 meters per second. The name of the effect is the Doppler effect. And as the ambulance moved away from the buoy, the frequency decreased and the wavelength increased. When standing at the end of a pier, it's possible to count the number of waves passing every minute. Amanda counted 12 waves every minute and estimated the distance between wave peaks as 2 meters. Calculate the speed in meters per second of the water waves. Write down the equation you use and show all your working. So, let's start out by writing down the wave equation. Speed is frequency times wavelength, V equals F times lambda. Now the frequency here, you've got to do a little calculation to work out the frequency. It's 12 waves in 60 seconds, that's all you're told. So, 12 divided by 60, that's 0.2 hertz. So, substitute the correct figures into the equation. Frequency is 0.2 times wavelength, which is 2. 0.2 times 2 is 0.4 meters per second. A shop used a plane mirror, positioned as shown from the top view, to observe customers in the rear aisle. Part A draw a ray diagram to show how the shop assistant is able to observe the customer in the rear aisle. And B, what kind of image is formed by a plane mirror? So for three marks, there should be a straight line ray drawn from the customer to the mirror to the shop assistant. Draw the normal on there to help you. Angle I is equal to angle R. Angle of instance equals angle of reflection. And there should be arrows drawn on the rays going in the correct direction. kind of image formed by a plane mirror is an upright, virtual, you could also have laterally inverted image. Question 5. Many homes use storage heaters. The storage heater shown contains bricks which have a mass of 1.5 kilograms and they're heated up from 25 degrees to 800 degrees during the course of the night. The heater then transfers the heat to the room during the following day. The specific heat capacity of the bricks is 750 joules per kilogram per degree C. So part A, calculate the amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of the bricks from 25 degrees to 800 degrees. 
use the correct equation from the physics equation sheet and show clearly how you arrive at your answer and give the correct unit. Part B, the storage heater has a power rating of 4 kilowatts. It's switched on for 7 hours every night. The electricity company charges 15.1p per kilowatt hour. Calculate the cost per night of running the heater. Use the correct equation from the physics equation sheet and show clearly how you work out your answer. So let's have a look at the answers for the first part. How much energy is transferred? So find the correct equation. That's E equals M times C times theta, which is 1.5 kilograms times 775, that's the temperature change, times 750, that's the specific heat capacity. So the answer is 8,718,750 joules or 8,718.75 kilojoules. And for part B, how much energy is transferred? Energy is P times T. The power rating is 4 kilowatts. And the time that it's switched on is 7 hours. So it uses 28 kilowatt hours per night. Now, the company charges 15.1p for 1 kilowatt hour. So that's 15.1 times 28, which is 422.8 pence. Question 6. Fill in the missing part of the electromagnetic spectrum. And part B. State one difference in properties between radio waves and visible light waves. And the answers. The missing part is infrared. And the difference between radio waves and visible light waves is they will have a different frequency or a different wavelength. Question 7. What is a mechanical wave? Part B. Give one example of a mechanical wave and state whether it's transverse or longitudinal. So write down the example and then cross out the wrong one, transverse or longitudinal. The answers. A mechanical wave is a wave which requires a medium to travel through. Example, water waves, sound waves, waves on a rope, not shock waves, don't talk about those. And water waves and waves on a rope, they're transverse, but sound waves are longitudinal. Question 8. Water waves from a stopping ferry are diffracted as they pass through a gap in the harbour wall. Complete the diagram to show the diffracted water waves. And here's the answer. Your drawing should look like this. The diffracted wave fronts should be semicircular, they should be equidistant, and they should be the same distance apart as the incident wave fronts. Question 9. A student noticed that she could see a coin in a cup when her eye was below the level of the cup, but only when the cup was full of water. Complete the diagram to show the light rays from the coin to the student's eye. And the correct answer. The light ray will be refracted from water to air. I is less than R because it's going from more dense to less dense media. And look at the arrows there, make sure you've got an arrow going in the right direction. 